as the moon continues to drop, it's a race between the light of the sunset and the position of the moon. After two gray and rainy days in St. Louis, Missouri, we packed up the Jeep and headed to our next destination. Continuing our epic road trip of 2021, we followed Highway 44 from St. Louis to Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. We've left St. Louis and we're on our way to Oklahoma City. And uh, what an adventure this has been so far. We have our coffee for the long trek. It's about a seven hour drive. In St. Louis, we saw the arch, went up in the arch, did the riverboat cruise, and did some vlogging and videography there. In Oklahoma City, of all crazy things in Oklahoma City, as we planned this trip, there's a man-made lake, and that's Hefner Lake, and there's a lighthouse on the lake, Hefner Lake. And I started looking into, and I'll, hopefully I can throw it on the screen about now, in uh, photo pills, and I noticed that there's gonna be a sunset and a moonset um, the moon is going to be chasing the sun um, across the sky, setting right in the perfect spot behind the lighthouse where we can be and in, in photograph this and, and maybe even do a time lapse of these two things going on. We'll see how that works out. It seems ironic that we're going from a place with a great lake and a lighthouse to Oklahoma City in the middle of the country with no big lakes and a man-made lake and there's a lighthouse for a decoration on this light that the people sail on. In looking in clear outside and uh, meteor earth, it looks like the cloud cover will be breaking. We'll just have some high cloud coverage while we're there and some low clouds coming in. But we will see um, what that's going to be. So what a wonderful, wonderful road trip this has been. It's, just so free to get out and be out and experience um, the country that we have, the landscape that we have, this incredibly large and expansive land, this country that we live in. And it looks to me like somebody is getting a fast driving award right there. Uh, we don't want to be getting one of those on this trip. So I have set the cruise control and we're holding to the legal speed limit. We have just crossed from Missouri into Oklahoma on our route from St. Louis, Missouri to Oklahoma City, Oklahoma to photograph a lighthouse. And it looks like we're gonna have a beautiful evening to do that. So we stopped in Joplin, Missouri, six miles before the state line. Get more coffee. Coffee, gotta have coffee for the road trip. Thank you. Thank you. I had the GoPro hooked up here. We'll have to see, look close at the, all the bugs stuck on that guy. I guess this is what happens after six hours. We are in Oklahoma City at Lake Hefner, or Hefner Lake, whichever it is and walking up to the lighthouse. I'm trying to get this arranged so that you can see as well. Of course it is more, it's a man-made lake, so that lighthouse is more decorative than functional. But uh, it looks, the, the conditions of the sky look like they're gonna be absolutely amazing tonight. I don't have the microphone hooked up yet, so I'm just using the microphone on the iPhone. But you can see as we're approaching the lighthouse, sky is looking amazing tonight. So we're here at Lake at Lake Hefner and here's the lighthouse. The, kind of the sunset starting to happen. We've got all these high clouds. We've got a few jet trails coming and it looks like we're going to have a pretty darn spectacular sunset. I'm going to set up with some of these rocks as a foreground interest. We're going to be having the lighthouse along the one side and the sunset and the colors are going to be off to the right. So let's get set up. I want to be fairly low. I want to be using these rocks as a leading line 
and some foreground interest up into that lighthouse. For those of us with cameras without the articulating screens, or as I call them the flippy screens, we got to get down low. Because I believe the sky is going to be incredibly dramatic tonight, I am using a wide-angle lens, and the focus of my photograph is going to be more of the sky than anything else. I've decided to change my angle to over in this spot. Looking at where the sun is going, I think my money shot is over here. In fact, I can prove that my money shot is over on this side. Unfortunately, the camera stopped recording right here. But nestled amongst these rocks in this exact spot was a dollar bill, proving that this place was indeed the money shot. So I don't know if it's taking the lazy man's way out or, or not, but I've started a time, a time lapse on this. I'm doing two second intervals. I'm letting the camera set the shutter speed as it goes through. I've got my aperture set on, um, I believe that was F11. I'll correct that right below me here if that's different, um, but it was either F16 or F11. I have set the camera to one full f-stop um, negative. So it's um, underexposing by one f-stop and that's to make sure I don't blow out the highlights and get some of this detail back in. But what I really want to make sure is I have the detail in the sky um, as the sun continues to set. I think my biggest issue is going to be these bugs that are all flying around. What an absolutely spectacular view of the sunset here in Oklahoma City at Hefner Lake. Never in my life have I seen this many bugs in the air. This is just some of the retouching necessary to remove them. I filled the memory card. I hadn't planned on doing a time lapse quite that long, so I need to change my memory card. I just got all composed, and where I think that the moon is gonna drop down and fill in the side of this uh, photograph um, as soon as it gets a little lower, Unfortunately, I have to take the camera off the tripod to change the memory card. So my, a lot of my framing was for naught as we did this. This is my setup and view that I have right now, my new composition. In the video here, you can see the moon up in the sky. You can see it over the lighthouse. And in the camera, you can see it as well. I'm hoping that it drops down a little bit where it'll be a little lower and hit that other point in the rule of thirds. And it'd be a nice, um, have an echo back and forth um, between the lighthouse at that point and the moon at that point. Since it is a little darker and things are getting a little darker, what I've done is I've changed the camera ISO to 800. That does gives me two more f-stops of exposure. Of course, 400 is one and 800 makes two f-stops of exposure. The other thing that that lets me do with the Fujifilm camera is increase the dynamic range up to 400, which, um, even in the raw file 
gives me much more dynamic range to work with. So I've got more room to lift those shadows and pull down those highlights because the scene is getting more and more contrasty as the minutes go by. As the moon continues to drop, it's a race between the light of the sunset and the position of the moon. Here's our status update on where the moon is coming into our frame. Put the little focus square, since I'm manually focusing anyway, that's almost like a, a point to aim at for that moon to drop right into that square. That's what I'm waiting for. The camera set on a two second timer. exposure to get all that in there. But the lights across the lake are, they almost look like icicles dripping down with the reflections on this water. got everything we can get from this spot. Button her up. Head back. Met someone else doing photographs here tonight, Eric. And uh, we're going to chat with him one more time. Check with them to make sure it's okay if I introduce him to all of you. This is the first field test with the uh, Joel Ken tripod. It served me well, it did. We're just here one night and then from here we're jumping to Albuquerque. But, uh, Don't forget to take the left in Albuquerque. <laughs> You don't have, you don't have, it's not every day that you can do that joke. Good to meet you. Eric, right, you said? Yeah. Eric, excellent. I see you're shooting cannon? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna... I just need to, yeah. just need to let it get down there in the middle. That's it. I do wish you... I could see the tip of the, but. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of dark right now. Do you have any issue if I put like a little bit of our conversation we had on no, the man. thing? No, no, that's cool with you. Excellent, all. excellent. You can even make fun of me. Too. I'm not making funny <laughs> at all. But uh, I'm at this redneck. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom in. You got a 600 mil on your. What, do you know that's, the, that's not a good image though. <laughs> yeah, but between you know, I'm just got this with my phone and it's all crooked. And uh, I'm seeing, you can see all the detail in the moon. I think you've, uh, I think you got something nice there. Oh, uh, well, still. Uh, yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll come down here and we'll get that one. Uh, That'll be uh, it. Enjoy your road trip. Thank you very much. Have fun in Albuquerque. Thanks. All right. Yep, a couple days in Albuquerque and then to Phoenix. Oh, Phoenix will be cool. Phoenix will be very cool. So, good all to right, meet you, man. Eric. Take care. Have, have fun getting shot. It's 8 o'clock in the morning on Tuesday, and we need to be quiet. Michelle is still asleep, but I thought I would share with you this beautiful sunrise happening here in Oklahoma City today. Um, what an amazing, amazing trip this has been so far, and we're not even a third of the way into this. Leaving Oklahoma City and on our way to Albuquerque, New Mexico, and uh, we have we're going to be on this road for over what is what she says over 500 miles. She said like 536 Six. miles. To stay on this road. So here we go, and uh, we'll pick you up later. <laughs>